If you're looking to start your creator journey, but you just don't want to pay the money or you can't pay the money for one of these crazy expensive video editors, then I'm glad you clicked on this video. I'm gonna show you the best free video editors that are out there in 2025 so that you can kickstart your creator journey and stop putting it off. <laughs> My name is Kennedy and I started learning and teaching myself video editing over the last several years outside of my regular 9 to 5 job. I've been kind of doing my own content creator journey as well as video editing is just a hobby and interest of mine. And all of these free video editors I'm about to show you I have used myself. And honestly I still use some of them. I switch around, go back and forth depending on the type of video and you know how much heavy editing I actually have to do. So. These are the best free video editors you can use now in 2025. First up, number one, we have DaVinci Resolve. This one is on par with Adobe Premiere, which is incredible because it's free. But my word of caution is that there is a learning curve to this program. It provides you with standard editing features like trimming, cutting, etc. But it also has color grading, visual effects, text, and more. Out of the ones recommended in this video, this program has the most depth and detail but don't be intimidated by this program because I've used the software myself and I'm, I'm actually using it right now to edit the video you're watching. And luckily everything you need to know about how to use this program or anything you might need to learn about it can be found on YouTube or you know, Google. So please trust me when I say if I was able to teach myself, you definitely can too. In fact, I will leave some video links in the description for tutorials from other channels if you're interested in learning DaVinci Resolve and you know understanding how to use it better. Next on the list is CapCut. If you don't know what CapCut is, I'd be surprised. It's pretty majorly popular nowadays, but if you're not aware, this was originally designed for TikTok and short form content creators, but now it's been expanded into a fully built out editing tool that you can use on desktop or PC. It's really lightweight, it's easy to use, and the tricky part is there is a free version and a paid version, so just keep that in mind. But for this video, we are only considering and talking about the free version. Overall, CapCut has a much more user-friendly interface, in my opinion, especially for people that are just starting to know their way around video editing. It has a lot of drag and drop functionality, it has a ton of built-in templates and different effects you can use. I personally love the auto-generated captions in CapCut. Seriously, I sometimes question how so much of this tool is free, but as I said before, some of the features do require the paid account, uh, but in my experience, all of the things are clearly labeled as a paid feature, so there's no surprise later after you've already edited half the video or something and then they ask you to pay. I've never really had a problem with that. If you're completely new to editing, I think you should actually start with this one because it's super beginner friendly and it allows you some room to grow and start to learn about things like keyframes and audio tracks, etc. Now, finally, we have ClipChamp. Now, this is supposed to be Microsoft's answer to simple video editing, seriously simple. ClipChamp is probably most ideal for very quick projects and very casual creators who do not want heavy software or can't run heavy software on their computer. It should be available on any Windows PC, but I just can't stress enough that this is like very simple editing. I think it's really good for videos that don't need a lot of edits or cuts. You don't need multiple audio tracks and you don't need captions. Some of the fancier things that you see in videos. It can get things done in a pinch and the interface is still pretty straightforward, but you're not going to be getting the additional features that you would see in CapCut or especially DaVinci Resolve. But like the others, it's free and that's what we're going for here. Okay, so I decided to get out my whiteboard because I love a good excuse to use my whiteboard. I'm gonna give you a nice little visual comparison of these three tools on a scale from simple light editing to heavy professional grade editing. We'd have ClipChamp ranked over here on the left, CapCut in the middle, and DaVinci Resolve over here on the right. All three of these are really solid tools and you really can't go wrong with giving them a download and just trying them out to see what you prefer best because they're all free. I will have links in the description to all three as well as a bunch of resources that I used once upon a time as I was learning these different programs and getting acquainted with them. 
And if you want to know more about any of these specific programs, or if you have any questions, leave a comment for me down below. I do read and check them all regularly, and I appreciate all the comments that I get. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching, and drop a like if this was useful for you. Good luck on your content creation journey, and I will see you guys next time.